Hi kids! I'm Miss Mythology and I will be your teacher in this video lesson about using correct and appropriate multimedia resources. Nowadays, our life will always be partnered with technology. We use technology in almost all of our work. From the use of TV as an entertainment and the use of computer or any gadgets to help us connect it to the latest news and updates. The ability to select and use appropriate multimedia resources is an important skill that you should learn. So in this session, we will be discussing different multimedia resources. The word multimedia comes from two Latin roots, multi and media. Multi meaning several or many while media meaning in the middle. From that definition, it tells us that materials on the internet or in your class presentations involve several forms of communication to connect the sender and receiver. Moreover, multimedia is a broad term for combining multiple media formats. When we combine text, audio, still images, animation, video, and some interactivity, the result will be multimedia. First, we have text materials. Text is a primary way to transmit information. It is the simplest and oldest resource. This resource can be used in writing instructions, making announcements, giving information, and narrating events. Most of the text materials can be written in PDF format or MS Word Office. Next, we have PowerPoint Slides. It is a presentation program developed by Microsoft. PowerPoint is often used to create business presentations or educational purposes. The presentations are composed of slides, which may contain text, images, and other media such as audio clips and movies. This resource is best to use in giving information, instructions, making explanations, and in narrating events. So, I'm going to show you how you're going to access your PowerPoint application in your laptop or your computer desktop. First, go to your Start menu, then look for your PowerPoint application. Open it. And create a new or blank presentation. So this is a sample on how you're going to access your PowerPoint program. So these are the presets for um, designed templates that you can access for free. So let's just try a few samples. Okay. Then here you have you can add new slides depending on how many key points or information you're going to add in your presentation. So you can add title and text. Then you can add transitions. You can add animations and a lot more functions. Now we have photographs and images. Illustrations are perhaps the oldest form of media. Nowadays, we have small images such as thumbnails or icons that are often used as visual entry point to larger images or more detailed information. Now, I'm going to show you how you're going to access different photos from the internet. First, go to your browser and type in what image are you looking for specifically. Let's say I'm looking for Japan um, landscapes art. Okay. So these are the samples of um, Japan landscape art. So you can 
use this in your presentations but just to be safe in using these photos without copyright issues you can check these tools then this drop down under usage rights you should click on creative common licenses so okay so you can use it for free so these are the options and you can use it um, in your presentations audio files your presentation can add sound from a musical background to a spoken explanation by including audio files simply record information instruction explanation and narration using a smartphone Video Presentations Video presents moving pictures and typically combines images and sound for a compelling multimedia experience. GIFs and other forms of animation Animated files occupy a middle ground between still images and video. GIFs, which is an abbreviation for graphic interchange files, are small files that present a single image or rapidly display a sequence of a few images to give the appearance of motion. Common File Types Below is a table of the common file types of multimedia resources. For text, we have TXT. For text with other elements, we have DOC, DOCX, PDF. For PowerPoint slides, we have PPT, PPTX, PPTM, POT, POTX. For images, we have JPEG, PNG, TIF, BMP or Bitmap. For audio, we have MP3, WAV, WMA. For video, we have AVI, WMV, FLV, MOV, MP4. And last, for animation, we have GIF, FLB. Usability of the Multimedia Resources It is very important to determine the applicability of these multimedia resources in class presentation Specifically, but not limited to in giving information, instructions, making explanations, and in narrating events. So, below is a table indicating the applicable use of such resources. Simple questions to ask before using an appropriate media resource in a class presentation. Here is a simple guide before you use and select a media resource to be used in your class presentation. Simply ask yourself the following questions. First, what is my task and purpose? Second, what media resource is applicable to you? Third, do I know how to apply such a resource in my presentation? Fourth, will I be understood if I use this particular resource or the other? And last, is this resource accessible during preparation and during presentation? I hope that these five simple questions can help you select the correct media resource. Multimedia is a broad term for combining multiple media formats. Is it true or false? It's true. Multimedia comes only in a single format, making its use exclusive and practical. Is it true or false? False. Because multimedia does not come only in single format. 
Video presents moving pictures and typically combines images and sound for a compelling multimedia experience. Is it true or false? It's true. GIF is an abbreviation for Grammar Information Facts. Is it true or false? False. It's Graphic Interchange Files. PowerPoint is a product of Microsoft. Is it true or false? It's true. Congrats on learning the different multimedia resources and how to select it appropriately. Stay tuned for more video like this by clicking the bell button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and again, this is Miss Mythology saying, don't stop exploring and keep learning. Bye!